Let's have a look at question 7 from the second of the probability and stats revision quizzes. It says the failure of a component is believed to be an exponential random variable. A component life test is performed the goal, uh, with the goal being to make inferences about the mean time to failure. One component is in operation at all times. In the event of a failure, the component is immediately replaced by a new one. Uh, the observation begins at time t equals zero and Im ends immediately after the 15th failure. So it's a failure ended test, not a time terminated test. So failure terminated, I mean, um, which occurs at t equals 1,650 minutes. So firstly, obtain a point estimate for the mean time to failure. Well, that bit's going to be easy. So the, the point estimate is just going to be equal to the total number of minutes uh, divided by the total number of failures, which is going to give us 1650 over R, which is 15. 1650 divided by 15, so 110 minutes. 110 minutes is going to be our point estimate. Now, to get our, um, our confidence limit, a 95% two sided confidence interval. We need to use a chi-squared test, and the formula you need is going to be number 75, so that's a two-sided chi-square test to work out the mean time to failure, and it says that we're going to get um, a lower limit is going to be equal to 2t over, over well, that's not a good chi, 2t over chi-squared where chi squared is going to be alpha over 2 and 2r. Bear in mind that if this was a time a terminated test, not a failure terminated test, um, then you would use uh, 2r plus 2 because you end up with the extra 2 degrees of freedom. I hope that makes sense. Um, I can't explain exactly why that is, just take my word for it. Um, and the upper limit is going to be equal to 2t over chi squared but this time it's going to be um, 1 minus 1 minus alpha over 2 and 2r so let's see what these are so 2t is going to be equal to what's that 3300 divided by and this one's 3300 Bit cheeky doing them both at once, I know. Um, and let's get these chi squared numbers. So, this is going to be the very last table in the book. Um, let's see, 2r is 30, so we need 30 degrees of freedom. I've lost my chi square table. Fell off the back. There we go, got it. Um, so, we need uh, chi square with 30 degrees of freedom, so it's about about uh, eighth row from the bottom. And the first one is we need alpha over two, which is 0 0.025. So that's going to be 40 um, 46.937. Point no, can't read 979. And this one's going to be um, 1 minus alpha over 2, so that's 90.975, again with 30 degrees of freedom. And that's going to be 16.791. So this one's going to be equal to 3300 divided by 46.979, that's going to be 70.24. And this one is going to be equal to 3300 divided by 16.791, and that's equal to 196.53. And that's our answer.